Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna show you how to really ramp up the power of your ManyChat opt-in buttons using our brand new ManyChat button booster. Now, what the button booster does is it uh, uh, basically allows you to add some additional code to your ManyChat button or to your web page that empowers your ManyChat button. And what it can do is it can allow you to pop up a modal window when somebody clicks on the bot button so that you could collect uh, the name, email, or phone number of the person that you're uh, you know submitting to the bot so that you can actually add them to a classic autoresponder like Aweber or get response and all that so that you can uh, reach out to them on those channels as well uh, what it also does is it allows you to do some pretty good targeting or uh, tracking with the Facebook pixel uh, so that you can actually track those button clicks and count those as leads or count them as custom events, whatever you'd like to do. So let's show you what this actually does. So you'll see right here, I've got this seller's report uh, built and it's got a button only for the bot. So there's, there's no other opt-in or you don't think there is. So when I click this, Watch what happens. It pops up uh, this nice little modal window to ask me to fill out my email and then I can continue on to the rest of the page and, and all that. But uh, what it'll do is it'll actually add me to an Aweber list so that I can reach out to that person. I can deliver the report via the bot and via email as well. Or I can send it to a CRM or anything else to capture that lead. So let's show you how to do this in Optimized Press. So the first thing you're going to want to do is in Optimize Press, you want to create your, your landing page here. And I've got one of the default uh, templates built. And the first thing you want to do is add your mini chat code to the page. So we're going to go ahead and add an element. We're going to add a custom HTML and short code. So I'm going to just paste in my mini chat code that I got from the growth tool dashboard. And I'm going to insert that. And once it's in there, I want to go ahead and move it up to where my little button would normally be. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to add an overlay optimizer in uh, WordPress. So I'm going to come over here and look for overlay optimizer. And there she is. And the first thing that you want to do is select the uh, no button or the no code uh, 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 optimizer. So you want to come over here and say no style, the button won't be visible on page. That keeps it hidden and then you can trigger the click a little bit later with the mini chat button. So we pick no style and we're just going to leave all this pretty much the same. Um, and let me see, we go over here at the overlay pop. We don't want exit intent. Um, we don't want to hide on mobile. You don't want to hide on tablet. Um, and you don't want to trigger on any kind of um, uh, scroll or time delay either. So we'll just go ahead and go ahead and insert that overlay optimizer. Leave it where it's at. It really doesn't matter where it is on the page. Now what I want to do is I want to come over here to the settings. And you want to create an element class so that that way um, we can target that specific pop-up when we click the uh, mini chat button. So I'm gonna call it like a opt in trigger and I'm gonna copy that, okay? So you're gonna keep that element class and update that. All right, so we've created our overlay optimizer. We've got our button in here, our mini chat button. So let's go back over here and actually create the code so that we can pop that modal window. Now remember we called that uh, CSS class for the overlay optimizer opt-in trigger. So we need to come in here and you go period opt-in trigger and then optimize press has a very specific class uh, for the overlay opt-ins and it's called OP pop-up button. So we're going to add all that in there, okay? And that's all you got to do. It just takes a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, you know careful work there. And then we're going to come down here and decide whether we're going to try to fire off the Facebook Pixel or not. Now we have tutorials or links to tutorials on Facebook on how to operate the Facebook Pixel and set that up. Uh, here, if I want to just fire off the Pixel as a lead, I would just click that. If I want to trigger a custom event on a click then I would 
select custom event and add in all my uh, custom event names and parameters and things like that. For the tutorial here, we're just going to go ahead and say fire the pixel like that as a lead and then let's generate the code. So there's all of our code and we just copy that and then we want to go back to our page and let's add a new element and we're going to do HTML again and do custom HTML code and we're going to add that code in there and insert. Now that the page is uh, set up for the overlay optimizer, let's go ahead and publish it and save and continue. Okay, and our page is created. So let's go see what that page looks like. I'm going to click the view the public link. And you'll see that the mini chat button pops up. We don't have any other buttons on the page for the uh, overlay optimizer. And then when I click this button, look at that, it pops it up and it also sends the message from the bot. And it also tracks that as a lead in the Facebook pixel. So there you go. That's how you create a modal pop-up with ManyChat and OptimizePress. Okay, that's all we got for today.